Okay, so the right hand one is your practice swing. These are the these are basically the swings that, that were 10 seconds practice. apart, yeah? So you made a practice swing on this one, the right hand side. This one, the left hand side, is your real swing. So if you watch the right hand one, okay? Good wide swing going back, big circle. Arms are wide, arms are wide, arms are away from the, the torso. Really nice full swing. I mean, great looking swing. You've had really, really good, okay? I think you did another one maybe, or you set the ball now, okay? So this now becomes the same video, okay? So this is the same clip, okay? Mm -hmm. As we then swing through, good wide swing going back. I want to whack the ball hard. I'm going to get tense and look at your arms there now. Yeah? If we look at that impact position there. So let's there, see when I went up yeah, the foot on the practice yeah, one. There you go. So this is, the, this is the same video, okay? So this is the same position. I'll put it in the same spot and I can show you the right hand one is the practice swing. So there's kind of the same position there. And then show you the practice swing. How much further your arms are away from your body? Mm -hmm. There, they're like... <laughs> so stretch out. Yeah, it's not, well, it's not necessarily stretch, because if someone says you stretch, what happens to your arms? Ooh, they're tense. It's creating that fullness of circle. The thing is, when and it's always the thing, when that little white thing gets in the way, people try to hit it with like the back of their arm and the elbows and trying to like jab it, because that, that feels quite powerful, yeah? Mm -hmm. We don't want power, we want this thing on the end to go... Pendulum and momentum. Quick, yeah, we want to go quick, but that's going to build up through kind of speed, yeah? If I go mm -hmm. fast with this top hand, that stick doesn't have any, any speed at all. If I go that, I get a snap, yeah? Are those that special sort of, golf sticks, are they? They're just alignment sticks. I mean, alignment the guy sticks. who was a marketing guy for that should give you a knighthood because he's basically got two 50p bits of dowling and charges like 15 quid for them because he puts colours on them and lines and then goes, oh, you can use it for this, this, this and this. <laughs> go, to, go to a <laughs> hardware store and, and go you can get them for like, yeah, 50p on them. I mean, that's ridiculous. So, but yeah, they are good in terms of creating yeah. speed. But that's the thing you've got to try. This is good on the way back. You still keep your width there now nicely. So in this swing here, if you look at your back swing, they don't look too dissimilar, do they? No. Pretty much in terms of your hands and your head is, the club position there. At this point here now... We're twisting a little bit more there. Uh, maybe, maybe a little bit, yeah. But in terms of how much variance there is there, there's not a lot, OK? As we then come back into the golf ball here, your arms are still away from the body. As we come back into here, we're now looking pretty similar, yeah? There's not much difference in these two swings here now at all. As we come back into the golf ball here, we're OK just before impact. And then this one here, we're okay just for impact. I would say your hands are slightly lower here, so this arm has already started kind of tucking and pulling in. And then just after impact here now, everything lunges up to try to hit it hard with your hands and your elbows. Whereas this one, you just continue on. So your arms go that way. So we just, that's all your hand line there. Going around there, you see ya? Yeah. Whereas this one, we go back to where you were up here, it goes like that. Yeah? Mm. Not quite that bad, but you but can I see your hands are, yeah? So you get to back here and you're like, Ugh. so that is you trying to hit it hard with your hands rather than trying to swing the club fast, yeah? Yes. But that's gonna come from less tension, obviously. If you're tense in the grip, it's very hard to swing the club fast, yeah? And we're trying to get effectively, this is not a silly question, but we'll answer anyway. When you swing a golf club, which end of the club do you want to be going fast? The grip end or the head end? What do you think? To send the ball as far as you possibly can. It's not a trick question either. Well, I would have said the bottom. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, the bottom, yeah. But what happens is people try and swing the handle of the club because they're holding the hand. They try and swing that fast. And this happens rather than the end bit fast, yeah? So that's the thing. You get looser and get that big circle, okay?